Hello and welcome to Stockwatch, presented by me, Evan Lucas, for Go Market Securities. As always, please have a very good read through of the disclaimer on screen. Everything in this video is general in nature. None of it relied upon as any form of personal advice. Go Market Securities does not know your personal scenario, nor your personal financial goals, and therefore none of it relied upon as any form of advice at all. It is just general in nature only. The crisis in Eastern Europe is getting bigger, and that is probably likely to be continuing for at least the next month or more. And I think that needs to be the base case. I don't normally like talking about these kinds of things, but it is clearly also playing into your equity investments and, and how you look at them. We are very clearly under a lot of pressure. There is a lot of volatility out there at the moment with regards to how fast markets are moving up and down. In fact, in the US, it's well and truly now touching 40, and that is the kind of levels that we saw during the GFC, the height of the COVID crisis, and also in 2015 and 2018, when different issues started to flare up. Why I want to highlight it though is that there has been a fairly decent deep dive going all the way back to the 70s about how geopolitical crises play out over a year period. And for the Australian market, there is one thing that certainly stands out quite clearly, resources. Resources tend to, without any sort of major movement or any sort of major change underneath it, actually outperform over a year. Most of the time resources are actually up over the next year after a conflict clicks off on a geopolitical scale of around about sort of 13 to even as high as 27%. If you look at the actual overall market too, the average out of all those geopolitical events is that the market is actually up 11.1% a year after it kicks off. Now, that doesn't mean that that's what's gonna happen this time around. And clearly, if we look back at the 1970s when stagflation was going on and we did have an oil crisis, 73 and 74 were major down years 75, 76, and 77 were major up years. And we're talking about 20 plus percent in both directions. In fact, in 1977, the market moved up 42% after falling 31% in 2017, three, and in 74. So history is never a great example exactly of what could happen. But the main takeout is this, calmness is gonna be the biggest starting point for how you look at what goes on. Having a strategy that is going to maintain you through what will be a volatile time for equities? And that is something you need to accept as an investor. But what we're also clear and what also has already been shown in this crisis alone is that the same old story is playing out. Resources are gonna do well, gold is gonna do well, energy is gonna do well, and over the medium to longer term, markets are likely to return and return strongly.